City Dancers, and you're checking out JR Sports Brief. That's kind of awesome, isn't it? Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is JR. You are checking out the Sport Brief. So Duke defeats Butler 61-59 in what was a close game all the way throughout. And when it looked like Duke was going to run away with it at about the three-minute mark, I think they were ahead by around five points, Baylor got back in it. And it actually came down to two missed shots. I don't know who the hell this kid was. Number 20, first he missed a, a, a little Kobe Bryant fadeaway. And then after your man Zubek missed a free throw, he actually missed the uh, game-winning three-pointer, which almost clanged off the front of the rim. Two of his shots clanged right off the rim. Now, if Butler would have won, we would not have heard the end of it. And you know what? I don't know too many people that aren't hardcore uh, college basketball enthusiasts who have even heard of anybody on Butler. Nobody in America knew who Matt Howard was uh, a few weeks ago. Now, everybody knows Duke, and they didn't have any uh, ginormous standout player. There was no, no uh, uh, Jason Williams. There was no Elton Brand. There was no Grant Hill. There was no Christian Leighton. Now, those are guys that I watched. But you know what? I'm kind of glad that Duke won because I don't know if I could take it listening to hear about Butler for the next God only knows how many years. So congratulations to Duke and congratulations to Butler as well. Because the fact of the matter is, a mid-major? I mean, hey, we're probably going to be looking at a whole lot of mid-majors in the tournament once they expand it. What are the 96 teams? That just gives me uh, 16 other games that I probably will not want to watch. How do you feel about the game? It was a good one. It was great to see a competitive game. This is JR. This is a sport brief. What does this thing hold for the NCAA tournament in the future? I'm out. Let me know. Peace. Peace.